Welcome to Leojude Systems Incorporated. I'm model 4321725, and I'm happy to assist you. That was obviously a joke because everybody keeps saying that I sound like AI. I don't feel like I sound like AI, but apparently I do because enough people have said that. I don't use Discord, and I'm not even really familiar with how Discord works. But I decided to give it a try. And I noticed that I had some notifications. You've got mail. I decided to read a couple of these messages. Either people are watching one minute of my video and then confabulating this whole thing out of that, or they just don't like me. But we're going to go through a couple Discord messages because I have answers for just about all of these. On the left is Jade Wee. On the right is Leah Jude. Leah Jude is blaming her low views on her being a woman, while Jade Wee has never once brought up sex. And her channel is growing 50k subs currently. Jade Wee does product reviews. And Jade Wee has been on YouTube for six years. We are in completely different niches. Comparing us, that doesn't make any sense. Leah Jute needs to make original content. Because reviewing music gear is original. What exactly would original content be? Because more people are doing gear reviews and plugin reviews than are doing anything like this. Yeah, Leah Jude's beat a day thing was big, uh... If you listen to them, they're so bad and bland. Maybe that's true. It's very, very difficult to objectively look at your own music. But coming from the other things that this guy said, I wouldn't go to him for a review on my music, personally. Somebody says, She really out here posting low-quality 200-view videos like... I'm the voice this community needs. I'm doing the art reporting. Yeah, it's not the size of the audience, it's what you do with it. I just realized that Leah Jude girl Weaver reacted to a few weeks ago, messaged me like three weeks ago about the BW shit. LML, whoops. So I figured out who I think this guy is. I think that this is one of the guys from OK We're Live. Yeah. I didn't end up being on OK We're Live. And judging by the amount of subscribers OK We're Live has, and the views that they get, maybe you should have put me on there. You know, I think it's about how she makes these kind of unfinished videos which seem very raw, and not really add a lot to topics as well. Just watch her two vids. The timing of the vids that you watched, judging my entire channel by two of them, when I have like 600. As far as them, um, feeling very unfinished and almost scattered, it's because I don't script my videos. Someone says, I'm slightly confused why her mascot slash logo is a bottle of liquor. What are we communicating exactly? I guess I thought my audience was over the age of 21. I'm just disappointed I wasn't able to encourage Leah Jude to make up the problem with Dane Taylor video. She was in his chat on his stream a few weeks ago talking about how he was the best one in the space so I doubt she'd make one. They're both pretty bitter, so this may never happen, Misery Loves Company. I'm not just going to start to insult producers that I actually have respect for. I went after the ones that I had a personal problem with because I didn't feel like the products that they were selling were helpful, and in some cases, they were the opposite. For Davy, who said, like, the reason that she got mad at Curtis King was because this was Curtis King's job, that Curtis King was treating it as a job. You completely tripped over the freaking point and then like walked away from it because that was not the problem that I had with Curtis King. I don't have an issue with people making money on YouTube. And if you have like an extra brain cell, you would know that. She seems to have run out of people to make these kinds of videos about. She needs to get into EA Ski. I also don't really have a problem with EA Ski. Like I said, I'm not just going to talk about every single producer one by one in alphabetical order. I made a beat a day for one year and no one would listen to them because I'm a woman. So this is the main reason that I wanted to make this video because out of all the offensive things that I've said on this channel, for some reason the most offensive was saying that I feel like I would have been a little further ahead if I was a man. I don't know why people took such huge offense to that when they're busy blaming things like algorithms and gatekeepers and not having enough money for promo. And then I say, I think I would have been a little further ahead if I was a man and everybody lost their collective shit. I think that a lot of men have trouble getting into certain fields because they're men. Some women have trouble getting into certain fields because they're women. That's just the way that it is. I'm sorry. If you know the difference between boys and girls, boys and girls 
just they go into different stuff typically. And when those crossovers happen, there is a little bit more friction. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It depends on what you're trying to do. Hey, comments are not new to me. I get plenty of them. I just wanted to address the Discord thing. It's so strange to read other people's opinions about you, especially people that truly hate you, that you have no idea who they are. They're behind this, like, anonymous mask. And it was almost surreal because that's new. I haven't seen that anywhere else but the YouTube comments. And it was very interesting to see, like, how much people skip over and how they try to put my words into something that fits the way that they want other people to see me just for their own gain even from people that i had respect for in the community before the way that they will reshape everything that happens if you're both in the same stream for instance or if it you know just trying to shape other people's opinions of you it's weird and it's new for me